Hello, this is Peter from the Canossa Observatory and welcome to this video about the object of the month of June. Double stars are often a bit neglected and yet they can be stunning objects in their own right. And a fine example is Alpha Hercules. Alpha Hercules, also named Ras al Ghati, is a beautiful double star and, at magnitude 3.48, ranks only fifth brightest in the constellation of Hercules. Therefore, with the naked eye, it just seems like an ordinary star that's only barely visible under very light polluted skies. But things change dramatically when you point a telescope at it, because then this little star resolves into a stunningly beautiful pair, separated by about five seconds of arc. Their colour contrast is superb, with an orangey-red primary and a greenish-blue secondary. They appear awfully close, but in reality the pair is separated by more than 550 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth, or 17 times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. They only seem very close because they are 380 light years away from us. They take approximately 3600 years to orbit one another. The striking colour difference tells us a lot about the evolution of these stars. The bigger the star, the faster it fuses its hydrogen into helium, and the sooner it grows old and dies. The brighter one, Alpha 1 Hercules, with its mass of 7 or even 8 times the Sun's, is so far evolved that it's nearing the end. It has become a pulsating red supergiant with a very cool temperature of 3300 degrees Kelvin at the surface and a diameter almost twice the distance from the Sun to the Earth. If this star were at the centre of our solar system, it would extend well beyond the orbit of Mars. Soon it will expel its outer layers, after which its core will slowly cool down and extinguish. The smaller one, on the other hand, still has some time to go before it shares the same fate. In fact, it's a binary star in its own right, with two components closer together than the orbit of Mercury, and hence far too close to be able to resolve with terrestrial telescopes. Through spectrum analysis and interferometry, we know that it consists of a yellow-white primary of four solar masses that's about to initiate its transformation into a red giant, and a slightly hotter 2.5 solar masses secondary. They orbit each other every 52 days. I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very much obliged and see you next month for another video. Bye.